All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. So today we are in Tableau. I'm going to show you how to put together a, a waffle chart. So if you live in the southeastern uh, U.S. or in Atlanta uh, in the specific, um, there's a place that we love. Uh, it's called the Waffle House. So I felt like, you know, let's have a little fun with the dashboard here and uh, put uh, put our waffle chart in uh, in uh, the same style as the uh, the Waffle House here, the signage on the on the restaurant. So I've got profit ratios here, just using standard sample uh, Superstore data, and then you can further, even though we have regions here, you can further break it down by category. I can get those profit ratios, um, your furniture, office supplies in their specific regions. So again, just having a little fun here uh, with the uh, Waffle Chart. There are a number of ways to put together a Waffle Chart. I think this is the easiest way. Um, the, the way that makes the most sense to me. So let's get started. How do we put together something like this? So the first thing you're going to need to do is set up an Excel template. So you see we have a row, column, and percentage. So looking at the row here, we want to make sure that we have uh, from 1 to 10, right? You see we have from 1 to 10 here in the first uh, in the first column that we're calling row here. And then we want to make sure that we have exactly 10 of the same number. Just rinse and repeat uh, all the way till we get down to 10. So you're going to have 10 ones, 10 twos, so on and so forth. And within each row, you're going to count, you're going to go 1 to 10, right, within each row. And then repeat 1 to 10 all the way till you get down to, uh, to 10. And then in the percentage, you're going to have 1 to 100. So if we go down here, right, you're going to have 100% down there. So that is how you set up your uh, waffle chart template. And so you know, just real quick, you can put 0.01 in here for your percentage. And then I like to do a, you know, this plus 0.01, right, that gives you 0.02. And you can kind of uh, let's just go all the way to the bottom. You can go all the way to the bottom here uh, to get to 100. And what I would do here, I would copy this and let's do a paste special. Make sure you're doing um, values. Oh, and I should probably do that for, for this as well. Let's copy, uh, paste special values. So that way you're not getting the formula in there. And, and um, you, know, you can also format this as well if you wanted to, but just showing you a little shortcut to set up this uh, Excel file. So row, column, percentage. Great. So once you have that, let's go into um, an empty uh, Tableau uh, sheet here. So once you have that, you ha you'll have uh, uh, rows and columns that will come into the uh, measures area, but you want to drag them up to dimension. So they were sitting here and I just dragged them up. So don't do this for percentage, but just showing you, you can drag that up there, right? So drag your rows and columns up to dimension. There is a way where you can uh, create a waffle chart with your rows and columns as measures, but I like this method uh, better. Um, it's a little easier when you start filtering. So uh, let's drag our rows to row in our columns to columns, right? Uh, makes sense. And so you'll end up with something like this. And even though I have the headers, uh, I have the headers uh, turned off. Let me turn them on um, right here real quick so you can see what we're working with. And I'm going to drag the, um, um, the percentage, right, from our Excel sheet. We're going to drag that uh, over here to text so you can see what's happening. So you can see I go from 1 to 100 here. So what I want, though, is I want my one to start here. So when I start my uh, my waffle chart, I want it to start here and progress in this manner. And so the way to do that, uh, we're just going to sort the row. I'm going to right click here and uh, we're going to sort and let's just go descending. Right. And I will say, OK, and you'll see now we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we pick up with eleven here, so on and so forth. And so that is the direction uh, that I want to go with. Now, you may have to do some uh, um, some formatting of the percentage. So, you know, just make sure to go in here, uh, go to default properties, go to uh, number format. And I have it um, as a percentage with zero decimal. So you may have to do that as well. So I already pre uh, pre-formatted uh, my fields here. So make sure you do that. And so once we do that, let's um, let's go to show me, right? 
and we're going to uh, select the uh, the heat map option, right? So if I select heat map, you'll see I end up with something like this. And I'm going to change this to squares. It's already a square, but I just want to make sure that it stays as a square. And I'm going to move my summer percentage off of size into the detail, and then voila, I get a nice little... Uh, uh, waffle uh, wafer here so to speak and then I, now I can go in here and I'm, I'm just gonna unclick show header here I'm gonna unclick show header here boom and now we have a nice little waffle here so but we need some data in here right um, it's it's incomplete uh, right now uh, another thing you may want to do and again I've, I've already done it you can right click uh, format and make sure that your um, uh, in your borders when you go to the sheet make sure your row divider um, uh, if I go to rows yeah you can make sure that your row dividers let's put that as none so I lose that there, there was a top uh, line there and I want to lose that so uh, make sure you do that as well so you're, you're fresh and clean here so now um, let's add a new data source so you'll see I have the waffle chart waffle chart template that I have as a as a data source waffle template right now you don't want to add a connection right there's nothing to join to you want to add a new data source you're going to go down here to new data source and I've already connected to sample superstore so when you add that new data source uh, point um, uh, point your connection to your file I have a sample superstore CSV file that I uh, pointed to this this uh, this new data source too. So when I come back to my waffle chart, you'll see I have a sample superstore here as well. And one of the things I did, you know, uh, we want to show a ratio. And so if I go in here, I have a profit ratio calculation. Let's take a look at it. And it is simply move this over here. It is the sum of profit divided by the sum of sales, and I call that profit ratio calc, right? You know how to create a, uh, a calculated field, obviously. You go up here, uh, create a calculated field, and then you can type in um, uh, what I just showed you for the profit ratio uh, calculation. And then you want to make sure that you go in here and you, uh, you know, you can change the, um, not change the data type, sorry, default properties, uh, our number format, make sure that's a percentage, and I put one decimal place. So. So I've already done that, but make sure you do that as well. Now I'm going to drag the profit ratio calc. I'm also going to drag that up to, uh, to detail right now. And so notice that, you know, what that does, it, it swaps my, my rows and columns, and I don't want that. So I'm going to drag the other uh, rows back down here to rows and the columns to columns. So you want to make sure that stays consistent or it will screw some things up. Trust me on that. So... Now we're going to create uh, another calculated field. I'm going to go back to my uh, data source for the waffle template, and we're going to create a calculated field, and I call it color me, right? And so this is going to be, you're going to take that profit ratio calculation that we had here from the measures in the superstore, right? And you could just drag that. I could have, you know, just drag it right here, right? I'm going to take that profit ratio calculation. We want to make sure that that is less than the sum of the percentage from our template, right? So set that up, call that color me. And then what you can do now, I'm going to go back here. Uh, you're going to drag color me to color. And you'll see, you know, I have, I have yellow and black here, you know, just homage to, uh, to Waffle House. Um, and you'll see what this does is, let's take a look here. You'll see this is column one, row one. It's, let's focus in on column. The column's one, column two, column three, right? What's happening is um, the real profit ratio calculation is 12.5%, right? So you'll see this color me is false because we had where the profit ratio calculation is less than the sum of the percentage, we want that to be uh, false, right? So let's take a look at this example. We're at a per uh, percentage of 12. Our profit ratio calculation is 12 and a half, right? So that's going to result in a false, right? Now, if I go here, our percentage is 13, right? And our profit ratio calc is 12 and a half. So the percentage is greater than the profit ratio um, calculation. So that's going to be a true. And so that's going to get a different color. So if you go in here, you can edit the colors for, for true and false. It's just a simple Boolean, right? Make sense? All right. 
So that gives us a nice little uh, uh, coloration here for our, uh, our waffle. And so now we need to create an annotation. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in here uh, let's annotate this. Let's annotate the mark. That's fine. And I only want my profit ratio calculation here. Let's make this a nice big uh, 24. Um, we can bold it as well. I think it's already bolded. That's fine. Say okay. See, we get that nice 12.5% uh, here. I'm going to try and drag the annotation here. Get that 12.5% there. And so we're going to go in here. We're going to uh, format this. Uh, we don't want a box, none, shading, none, uh, border, none, and line, none. So that way we just get that 12 and a half there um, showing up against our waffle. So perfect. We have that going. So now we're just going to duplicate this, right? I'm going to change this. I'm going to change the title uh, of this to, um, to west for my west region. I'm going to center this as well. That's fine. And then I'm going to bring in from the Superstore, we're going to bring in the uh, the region. Uh, it is a dimension region, right? I'm going to bring that in here. And we're going to show all. Unfortunately, we get this null because we aren't truly, I mean, we're blending. And the, the consequence of that, of not having a join, is we have this null that shows up here as well. So uh, we're just going to say, OK, that's fine. I'm going to show the, the region, show filter. And you'll see I have all these different uh, regions here. So if I go none, if I show for the west, I get 14.9. If I show for the south, 11.9, so on and so forth. Uh, let's go back to all. I also dragged in category to my filters, right? So again, I have a uh, dimension category. I dragged it over here in the filters, and uh, we can actually show the filter. Uh, this is where I want to, you know, um, sorry, let's go back here. All, right, I can I can show different categories. So furniture is 2.5%. Furniture and office supplies is 96 so on and so forth. And you can further chop that up by region. So um, we're just going to copy this. Well, actually, I'm going to get rid of this uh, for now. Um, remove that, uh, yeah, remove the filter uh, for now. So now we're just going to copy this, duplicate. This was west, right? And this is going to be east. Uh, no, let's call this south. That's fine. South, again, just go in here. South, say OK. And you want to make sure that the region, the filter on this is south as well, right? All right, we've got that there. Again, rinse and repeat here. We're just going to duplicate again. And I want to make this one east, filtered on east only. So we get a different number there. We go in here, change this to east. And then change this to east as well. And then last but not least, go ahead and duplicate it one more time. And this is going to be central. Central. Okay. All right, and so now I have four of these waffles uh, ready to be served. Oh, let's change that to central, right? I want to make sure we got that right. So we got central, east, south, and west, right? Oh, make sure our west is set up correctly, right? Make sure you got your filters uh, set up correctly. South, east, and central. Now we're going to go to the waffle board, and we're going to drag in. Let's drag in the, well, first let's create a, uh, I like to, use a container here. Let's drag that in here. Uh, that way everything becomes a kind of equal size. Um, I'm going to drag in west, right? I'm going to drag in uh, south here. Uh, I'm going to drag in east and finally central. And then we can get rid of all of this. We don't need this. Um, uh, uh, sorry, just select that. Get rid of all of this. All right, so boom, now we have our uh, our chart set up. Now, I want this to be by a category. So I'm going to go over here to West, and we're going to drag the uh, the category in here. Uh, let's go to Superstore, drag a category in here. Um, let's bring in everything, say OK. Right, we've got the category. So now if I go back here on the West, I can say um, go in here, and uh, where is it? Filters, drag in the category. So now I have that. 
And then, you know, for, for the sake of time, we're just going to um, use this. We're going to say apply to worksheets. We're apl apply to all using this data source. So now when I change um, my category filter, you'll see I get, right, nothing here. So if I select technology, the, this is the uh, profit ratio percentage in this region for technology, right? And you'll see that will change office supplies office supplies doing very well uh, in the east and then furniture uh, doing very bad in the central so you know you can select everything here and again uh, play with it a little formatting you can get to uh, something like this so this has been anthony smoke hope you enjoyed this uh, serving of uh, waffles get out there and do some great things with your data thanks for watching